Why is Tinder so frustrating? Why does it seem to manage to make most people feel like the ugliest person on the planet? It seems to promise so much and yet deliver so little. Is Tinder just a giant scam? Do women really have a better experience on Tinder than men, or is it pretty rubbish for both genders? Today, I'm going to take a deep look into the maths and statistics behind the Tinder machine to find out what's really going on inside, and most importantly to see if there's anything you can do to fix it. The first set of numbers we need to look at are the ratio of male to female users. So roughly speaking, there's two male users for every female Tinder user. But the inequality, statistically speaking, doesn't stop there. You see, when you look at the number of profiles that men swipe on and the number of profiles that men swipe right on, you see roughly, roughly three to five times as many swipes and right swipes that men make than women make. So what does this mean? Well, it means that if you've got twice as many guys, and that twice as many guys are swiping on up to five times as many female profiles. That means that, that men are making 10 times as many swipes as women. So what this essentially means is that all the women on Tinder with all of their swipes are only looking at enough male profiles to manage to see somewhere between 10 and 20% of all male profiles on Tinder. Now, Tinder is really a form of search engine, and what it's doing is deciding which male profiles a female gets to see. Because remember, women can't possibly see every male profile. So what Tinder does is it ranks everyone's profile using something called an ELO score. So essentially what Tinder does is when, a, when anyone first registers, when a guy registers for Tinder, it suddenly gives you a really high ranking. It shows your profile to a whole bunch of women. And based on the results that you get from those women, that is how many women swipe on you, um, how many you know, the, those women match with you, and how many start conversations with you, it looks at a whole bunch of factors. Based on that, it decides how desirable your profile is on Tinder. And then what it does is it shows that top 10, 20% of men to all or almost all of the women. So about the top 90% of women are seeing only the top 10% of male profiles. You've probably seen this system in effect because when you first signed up for Tinder, you probably noticed you got a number of matches on day one. And then day two, three, four, five, you suddenly got like no matches or like maybe one a day if you were lucky. So what does this mean for the 80 or 90% of guys, that is the great majority of guys on Tinder who happen to be below the top 10 to 20%? Well, it means that you're hopping onto Tinder and you're seeing all these women's profiles. You're swiping left on some, you're swiping right on others. And your assumption is that all these women you're seeing are seeing you back, but they're not. Because remember, Tinder's only showing, there's not enough women on Tinder to see every profile. In fact, there's only enough women on Tinder looking to see the top 10 to 20% of the profiles. So most of those women aren't seeing you at all. And the women who are seeing your profile <laughs> are the bottom 10% of women. So what happens is you go on Tinder and it seems like every woman who matches with you seem like they're, if any women match with you, it seems like they're well below what you feel like you're capable of matching with, what you feel like you as a guy could get in the real world. It seems like you're, you're digging from the bottom of the barrel. And I don't mean this in a disrespectful way to women, but that's essentially what is happening because most women aren't seeing your profile, barely any are, and only very, very few at the bottom of the deck actually manage to see you unless you're right at the top. This makes every guy feel like he's really unattractive because it makes us feel like we're seeing all these women, all these women are probably seeing us, but none of them want to meet us. And that's just not the case. Nonetheless, it leaves most guys feeling pretty depressed about themselves. So do women actually get it any better? Well, let's have a look. See, Tinder exploded onto the scene in 2012. And one of the things that made Tinder so interesting and exciting for users was the way that it managed to sort of gamify dating. It was actually really fun to hop onto Tinder and just swipe through hundreds of profiles. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. But more than just gamify it and make it kind of fun to just check people out and swipe, it, it, it built into us a habit of judging people really rapidly based solely on what we could see. So not 
just looks, but also impression. Do they look like a cool person or do they look like an aggressive person? Do they look like a bitchy person? Do they look right? We just make all these judgments as quickly as humanly possible and swipe quickly left or right based on that. Now, in the real dating world, men are already far more likely to make a game of dating, to turn dating into a game. And, and you know, that's evidenced by the fact that guys who sleep with lots of women are typically called players. Players play a game. And sure enough, of course, guys really took to Tinder and really truly treated it like a game, hopping on a Tinder, swiping on hundreds and thousands of profiles to try to maximize the number of women that they could date with. Women, on the other hand, were hopping on a Tinder, treating it far more like a way to seriously potentially meet a decent guy. So they'd hop on a Tinder and look and they'd really think, would I really want to date this guy? Could I really imagine being in a relationship with him? I know some women are looking for something more casual, but you know, most women are trying to hopefully find something relationship based. And so they're being really, really picky, only swiping with really few guys profiles. And they're taking it more seriously than men. So they swipe, they, they match with all these guys. And yes, it's true. Most women get plenty of matches on Tinder, but, but it's what happens afterwards. That's a problem because women have matched with all these guys, but you've got to remember something. 10% of guys, matching with 90% of women. So these men in the top echelon are matching with way more women than they could ever talk to, right? Than they could ever date, <laughs> right? It's just impossible. So these guys, they've, they've got to start to ruthlessly funnel out these women. So while women are on Tinder are taking it really seriously, their experience is that they hop on and they start talking to guys and the guys are really rude and abrupt and absolutely no respect. You know, they're not treating them like a human being, they're treating them like a game. And they're treating them like they're completely disposable. Why? Because in the Tinder game, they are. In the Tinder game, a guy in the top 10% matches with 30, 40, 50 women at a time. And so if one woman is in DTF, right? If, if one woman doesn't respond well to his sexual advances, well, fine, throw her out and find a new one. So for women, this is really, this feels really offensive and degrading and it makes them feel disposable and dehumanized. And I know there's probably some guys watching and thinking, oh, boo-hoo, women feel degraded. Well, at least they get batches. And I guess maybe that's true, but I'm not here to argue whether men or women have it worse. I'm here to say that women have a horrible experience on Tinder on the whole as well, unless they're just on Tinder to, to get laid. Tinder is not a fun place for a woman's self-esteem either. So given that fact, what could Tinder do to fix this problem? Well, there is one thing that Tinder could do and they'll never do it. So what would fix this problem is if Tinder limited the number of matches anyone could have at a time. So imagine that I would hop onto Tinder and I would match with three women. Once I'd match with three women, I couldn't see any more profiles and no more women's profiles could see me anymore right? Until I had removed at least one of those women from my matches. Then I could start seeing women and match with some more again. By limiting the number of matches that any man or woman could have, it would actually really help Tinder in two ways. Because it would eliminate this problem. Because it would, first of all, allow far more men to be seen by women because guys could only match with three men at a time. So all of a sudden you'd still get some disparity because there's more women on Tinder, more men on Tinder than men. But all of a sudden you'd probably get about the top 60 or 70% of men getting seen and matched by some women. So it would fix that. It would also fix the way that men treat women on Tinder because all of a sudden you wouldn't have this disposability of women because guys could only have three women to talk to at a time. So they couldn't be quite so immediately dismissive. So guys would have to start behaving better. Unfortunately, Tinder will never do this. And the reason Tinder will never do it is that Tinder makes its money on advertising. It has ads that show up in Tinder's feed now. That's their money. And, and you know, they've got to do it. I get it. They've spent you know millions building Tinder. They, need, they deserve to make money out of it. But it's going to continue to depress people and make, ruin people's self-esteem unless they do something to fix it. But is there anything that you can do to fix this problem? Well, if you're a woman, probably not. Uh, but in truth, it's easier for women to meet guys out in the real world anyway. But for guys, if you know how to create a really great profile, it is definitely possible for about 70% of guys to actually get up into the top 10%. Um, 
but only if you know how. If you know how to create a profile that really gets matches, that gets swipes, and you know how to message women to get replies, thus boosting your ELO score, you can get up there, but you gotta know how. To do that, I'd highly recommend watching some more of my videos. I've got a number of videos here describing how to create profiles, but even more than that, I'd recommend you check out my Tinder course or my School of Tinder program. I'll link to it here and in the comments below. In, this is a full Tinder training program where I'm gonna show you how to create a high ranking Tinder profile, what photos to pick, what to write in that profile, what to write to women to get them out into the offline world, into the real world and out on a date with you. In fact, I've got whole scripts that you can copy and use for your profile and for your messages that have been proven time and again to get real results. Go ahead and check that out. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I look forward to seeing you in my future events.